Hi, today I will create security objects for our bookstore uh, management project. Let's start. Uh, let me add a new item and see the security objects here. Uh, as you can see, we have four different security objects. We, we will create three of them. We will create privilege, duty, and role. Policy is a different thing we will talk about later. Uh, because uh, we create a new module, new bookstore management module, we need to create all three of them. Uh, if uh, this, uh, this development about uh, inventory or customer, we, we, we probably don't need to create a new duty or role, probably a developer uh, must create a privilege for new items, new menu items, and it will in, uh, enough uh, for uh, security admins to add this privilege to a duty and a role. And uh, of course, uh, with this role, uh, uh, a user uh, who has this role can see the, your uh, new uh, menu item. Uh, okay, because we, we we don't have anything, we need to create everything. Uh, let's start with privilege first. Create or all. When I uh, create the privilege, uh, we have uh, some uh, point here. Uh, most important one is entry point. Uh, in uh, Dynamics 365, you give the security objects uh, entry point because uh, a form, a, a menu, everything open with an uh, entry point. So if you give uh, proper uh, security for entry point, it's, uh, it's enough and it's good use. So I need to drag and drop all my uh, menu items to uh, entry points and it will create automatically for us. And uh, I can select uh, access levels here. For example, uh, let's give Let's give delete. Uh, as you can see, we have lots of different access level. Uh, delete is uh, the most powerful one. So I will give delete uh, for all of them. And uh, it's best practice to give uh, all label. Now my privilege is ready. Let's create a duty uh, for our project. Okay. Now you can see I, I created a duty and duty have a privilege. So I can drag and drop my privilege to this one and we have privilege here. We, we, we connect our privilege to this duty and let's give Okay, now I need to create a role. A role can have privilege, sub roles, duties, and permissions. Uh, at this point, I will connect my duty to this role. Of, of course, I can connect my privilege directly to this role, but 
it's not recommended. It's recommended to you create a hierarchy here for managing purpose. So I create duty and I will drag and drop my duty to my role and property best practice to give a proper label. Okay, I create roles. So, I uh, first I need to create uh, privilege and create duty. After that, I create roles. It's it's now ready. And uh, if I give this role to a user, uh, and this user uh, can only see my uh, my uh, forms and my menu items right now. And uh, it's it's enough for uh, developer to do this much. Uh, probably uh, some consultants or security admin will give a proper role to uh, proper uh, user. Uh, as a developer, you should uh, create at least this uh, this uh, objects for security. Uh, if you want to create more advanced security, uh, you, you can. There are lots of different uh, different uh, properties here. Uh, if, if we want to give uh, a specific uh, security level, a button or a field, etc., we can do that. Uh, and I will... Uh, uh, talk about uh, advanced security uh, in another videos too. Uh, I hope this will help you. Have a good uh, have a good day and see you. Bye.